Hello. So, um, this was an idea I had, uh, another demonstration of uh, RetroTINK 5 features. Um, so, I thought I'd show you some of the obvious visible differences between the um, composite filters. So, Notch, I believe, is closest to the original what you get with an original composite cable and as you can see in the top left hand corner there it's showing that it's currently in notch mode for the filter now this is a PC engine it's a real PC engine unmodified uh, core graphics model 1 and it um, is using just a, a standard composite cable the uh, the first and second core graphics PC engines both had composite out whereas the white, the really old school white PC engine was RF only um, unless you use one of the adapters that plug into the back of course which were available back in the old days um, so this is Packland for the PC engine and uh, this, I thought this was quite a good demonstration because uh, I could just leave it in demo mode as you can see and there's lots of uh, examples of clear defined graphics with um, block colours and clearly defined lines between the background and the sprites etc and the writing and um, just keeps playing over and over so in Notch you can see there's a bit of a kind of a rainbow effect and uh, you can see a, a bit of kind of fuzz, well, a lot of fuzz around the board, the uh, the edges of uh, pixels and what have you, the thresholds between pixels, especially on this bit here. You can see there's a lot of a lot of it. So if I go into four line comb, first I'll do it on a okay. So that's notch, that's four line comb. You can see on the writing there, the writing becomes noticeably clearer. So notch, four line comb. Now as the writing moves there, on notch you get a lot of blockiness around the edge. You can see there on the word break time. So notch is extreme blockiness on the edges of pixels going to four line comb now just look at the edges of the writing now when it scrolls you still get blockiness but it's not as bad so notch yes so this is four line comb okay this is notch look at the edge of the writing now the four line combs on now Now, four line, the, the benefits of four-line comb are much more obvious on stationary screens. So, that's notch, that's four-line comb. You can see on, the, uh, on that block font of the game, the four-line comb, the writing looks much better. Now, unfortunately, the benefits of any of the filters are much less noticeable when the screen is scrolling and there's... As far as I know, there's really nothing that anyone's ever going to be able to do about that using composite. The uh, the phrase that you can't polish a turd comes to mind. Now, of course, uh, composite is much more acceptable on a CRT. So I'm in no way denigrating the uh, using composite. And uh, in terms of the PC engine, the composite output is actually very good, I would say. One of the best um, consoles I've ever seen for just standard composite output. Certainly much better than the NES. So, um, four line comb I would say is better all round in all cases. Much better for static screens and marginally better for uh, multi directional scrolling but not hugely noticeable. So now we've established that, I'll leave it on four line comb. And we'll go to scan lines. 
So this is scan light off and don't forget the filter is currently on four line cone. Now scan lines do make an increased difference in the amount of blockiness and fuzziness during scrolling I think. Not huge but they do detract from it slightly and uh, there's a lot of scanline options on the 5X so we'll just go through some of them currently uh, you'll be able to see in the top left corner what it's on it's currently on polyphase 25% which is the first one that comes on when you turn scan lines on so I'll just cycle through them and uh, you can decide for yourself if you think one looks better than the other uh, this is all in 1080p of course I'll put that in the uh, video title so this is being captured in 1080p and uh, the retro tink is upscaling to 1080p. So now on polyphase 50%. The image overall looks slightly darker, but you may think that this helps to hide some of that composite shimmer a little bit more when the screen's moving. I think it does slightly. I don't know what all of these names mean, but this is a uh, int mod 25%. Kind of blows out the colours a bit more, it gives it a bit of glow, a bit more like a real uh, CRT. You can see, definitely see that's looking brighter there. This is int mod 50%. That looks pretty good actually. I think it's better than the Int Mod 25%. It's not so blown out. And it is helping to obscure. I think these scan lines, I don't think the uh I don't think they're hiding the fuzz as much on the black and on the black background with the writing, but on these screens with the full colour scrolling gameplay, I think the scan lines are making a slight improvement. This is int mod 75%. This notable difference there. Slot mask. So these are all different styles of uh, CRT from back in the day. That's definitely making it look more like it's actually on a real CLT, and it's quite impressive actually. Aperture Grill. I believe Aperture Grill is what uh, Sony Trinitrons use. C please correct me if I'm wrong there, but uh, this may well be a kind of s Sony Trinitron simulator. <laughs> There's another Aperture Aperture grill setting there. And we'll go to the one next one after Aperture Grill Two. PVM simulator, another Sony TV or monitor rather. FV310, I don't know what that is. I presume that's a particular model of monitor. Consumer One. Well, that is actually really cool. You can almost see 
sub-pixels of a real CRT there. You know how CRT, if you look really closely, you, you can see each little tiny element is made up of a red, a green and a blue stripe. Something I used to notice when I was a kid. Obviously going putting your eyes that close to a CRT is not good for you, but that's doing an excellent job of simulating that look. You can see that very clearly on the writing there. Very cool. That's possibly one I would choose if I was to uh, play with um, scanline filters on. Personally, I, I just leave everything off. I just like to have sharp pixels with upscalers. I don't... Scan lines are cool, but... Unless you're doing it for a particular reason, to obscure stuff or to lower the brightness slightly or whatever, I... Uh, I always end up going back to just normal, sharp, sharp pixels. Consumer 2. So that's even more defined picture elements there. Integer 100%. Notice the white writing always uh, scrolls very well on those screens with writing. The coloured writing, like the blue and the yellow, you can notice more of the composite shimmer. Here's an LCD simulator quite why you'd want to uh, do that. I don't know, but uh, that floatsy boat, that's what LCD scanline simulator looks like. And we're back round to off. So um, I'll leave scanline off. And composite filter is currently still set to four line comb. Let's play a bit of the game. I think four line comb is what I would choose to use for the most part. Um, I personally have a um, RGB modded PC engine and I also have a Super SD System 3 as well which um, gives you RGB out from the back of any PC engine so normally speaking I would use an RGB method of some kind when I'm actually playing PC engine um, which looks very good with the 5x as you can imagine I may make a video of that but really it would just be here's the uh, 5x train PC engine RGB in excellent clarity, just like uh, it would be for most consoles, RGB output plugged into the 5X. I thought this video would be slightly more interesting to demonstrate what the 5X can actually do with a composite signal from a PC engine, unmodified PC engine. I'll just do one, one or two more stages of this game. I know there's secrets in this game, pushing cactuses and fire hydrants and what have you. I do remember playing this game when I was a kid. My dad um, worked in a hospital for a few years and uh, the hospital social club that he was a member of had a uh, Hackland arcade machine, which was quite a big hit with people. That was sometime in the late 80s. 
and at that time the machine would have been I don't know about five years four or five years old I suppose I think this game came out in about 1984 I say for 1984 this is quite a remarkably original platform game really I do think there's probably a few tips that um, Nintendo took from this game for Super Mario Brothers in terms of power-ups and in this game you get a power-up that enables you to fly which was obviously something that became a big aspect of Super Mario Brothers games later on but as far as I know this one certainly did it first this is of course a much less talked about game. This is one of the secret bonus cactuses. Let's see, and I'll get invincibility for that one. I've got a little 1000 point bonus there because I pressed jump just before I went through the door. I believe this is where the fairy is going to give me the flying ability. Yeah, some of these long cactuses do still have. Oh, there you go. What was that? I'm not going to find out. Oh, I actually can't remember what that little Pac-Man symbol there is. I want it. I've got it. Might be extra time, not sure. Don't think I've ever actually managed to catch one of those before. So this game does make use of uh, repeating levels just by making you walk through them in a different direction as you can see here. Like with a new ability. Oh, what's that, another bonus? Looks like a little ship from uh, Galaxy in there, that I collected. I don't know what that does either. Please leave a comment in the video if you know what those little bonuses do. And there you go, 1000 point for jumping. 1000 point bonus there for jumping just at the end. Well there you go, so that's trip one of Pac-Land. Demonstrated mainly with the uh, comb filter, four line comb filter on the Retro Tink 5X um, using an unmodified unmodified PC Engine core graphics using a uh, standard composite cable. If you've got any suggestions um, about combinations of consoles and cables and settings on the 5X that you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment on the video because I am going to uh, do a few more things like this just for general reference. So, uh, till next time, thanks for watching.